Sala has come here. He's been a leader. He's backed up all the noise with incredible numbers. He's anchored the defense. He's lost 40 pounds. I mean, what more has this guy got to do? Robinson. Robinson makes it a 10-point game. Dan Gundy has, has really a luxury here. He can go with Doliak, who played extremely well for them through the uh, entire season. But what Morning gives you is better defense and shot blocking. Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson. Oh, you got to get out on Cliff. He, he, you know, he came in from the University of Connecticut. I'll never forget, he was a second-round pick. This guy has always had range in, in his arsenal. Well, guys say, yeah, but he's always open. I, yeah, I know his guy's always open on Jack except for one thing. You got to make the shots. Fourth foul on Robinson. 17-point game, three-pointer, Cliff. Yeah. He still has that long range oh, touch. Come on, I mean, he came in the league with it, Al. I'll tell you, the, the, the guy has had a, a very, very interesting career. He's very talented to play small forward, center position, power forward. Uh, you know, during his early years, I'll tell you, he was a major asset up there in the Portland area. So that no, no turnovers for Miami in the last 15-30. That's a whole period plus three and a half minutes. Ball off the Nets, Miami to inbound. Let's check in with Michelle. In the way of his status for the rest of this game, but again, it was the landing that took its toll on Nenad Kristic. Be sure tomorrow, no doubt about that. Here's Robinson inside. An 11 point game. You know, UB, it's, it's just it's 15, it's 12, it's 16, it's 11. But Miami just they, just, they have their arm on It's like a stiff arm. Because yeah. you can be in this league if you have a specialty, whether it's rebound, chop, defense, whether you're a playmaker. But more important, if you can shoot this basketball. Shaq only had to play 32 minutes today. So he played two thirds That's of the game. That's their last nine shots in this quarter. New Jersey with only three field goals, and they turned it over eight times. Remember, they had a very similar stretch in game one. They came out, got off to a quick start, then had a stretch where they went one for 17, spanning the first and second quarters, and it was pretty much over at that point. Alonzo Morning. Called for the goal 10 once again. Started to show theatrics and then looking at in the direction of Joe Crawford. Try to pull it back, but he's still hit with the technical. Well, I'm, they're, they're all playing with emotion right now. And Joe is going to continue to keep the game under control. And I'm going to say again, Flip, I thought it was a goal 10. I don't know if you're going to disagree with me again, but it looked like it was on its way down, so I think a good call by the officials. Well, I think that was a good call. Coming off the bench, he's hit three for three tonight. When you get up 20 as a team, those shots become a lot easier. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. What they have to do, New Jersey, is just continue to play and know that if there's still time and they got a game coming in about three days. Robinson able to convert on the three-point shot. Well, game number three of the series will take place at the New Jersey He's going to be more line. aggressive and look for that shot. As soon as Shaq's back, they'll look to go inside. Nets have a six-point lead. Carter off the double, has to give it up. Robinson with the shot. That will count, and the foul Dick Pavetta blowing his whistle. But he called it a continuation. Very good call by Dick Bavetta. I think the call was he's going to call defensive three seconds. He was in the paint, but the shot was up, so the bucket counts. They go the other way. Flip. Come on. I mean, I know you're buttering these guys up, but he calls it right about here. How, how do you give him the continuation on the shot? Well, it's a defensive three seconds. Alonzo Morning's in the lane. When the shot goes up, you got to let that go. Plus, we want to keep scoring up in the lane. <laughs> I see. Diplomatic answer. But the defensive three-second call was waved off the bucket by Robinson. Counted now the other end, a three-second violation against Miami. It just seemed to me like, you know, if he's going to call it and it's a second before the jumper, you got to, you know, got to call it, send him to the line, and give New Jersey the ball back. But, hey, I'm not coaching next year. I can criticize Dick. <laughs> that was mine. Yes. Give me two. That was a hockey assist from somebody. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't know who. <laughs> Anderson gets credit, and that's his first field goal. Cliff Robinson, yes. 
And if Swift starts hitting that shot, that can even help them more to get more scoring out of their forwards. You have Jefferson score more. Now if Robinson can score more, it's going to give a lot more options. Miami by three. He also says he might take a dip in acting. So there you go. This is a career change in the works for Dwayne Wade. Michelle, you were close. UB and I as Robinson launches one for three. We never dreamed about people 50. We well, you have to like it. It's working so far. Uh, I know that Miami say Miami's had a couple of hoops, but they've also had some bad shot attempts and they've turned the ball over a few times. Robinson for three and New Jersey right back in the game. Down by a dozen not long ago. It's now a four point game, 33 to 29. Jay Cliff's doing what he does well. He's an excellent outside shooter for a guy six foot ten. And he's stretching your defense because Alonzo Mourning is not going to play him that far away from the basket. Now, this young guy is special, no doubt about it. What you really like about him is how well he carries himself, the respect that he has for Shaq, the respect that his teammates have for him, and then the coaching staff.